Hello, and welcome to Critically Disdained. Today, we are going to review the new Destroy, Rebuild Until God Shows album, Destroy, Rebuild. First, a quick history of the band, also known as Drugs. Um, they started around 2010 as a supergroup, fronted by Craig Owens of Chiodos, um, Aaron Stern of Matchbook Romance, Nick Martin of Undermined um, and Matt Good of From First to Last, and Adam Russell of Story of the Year. Um, they had swept in real quick, recorded and released their self-acronymed album, Drugs, D-R-U-G-S, Destroy, Rebuild, Until God Shows, um, in 2011. Which, it's an amazing album. If you haven't heard that one, uh, you should check that one out as well. Um, you need to, it's really good. Um, but they disbanded within about a year after that. So from start to finish, they only ran for about uh, two years in the original uh, Drugs. Most recently, in 2020, Craig Owens restarted up the band and was in search of a new team and was able to recruit Jonah Weinhoffen from I Killed a Prom Queen, Aaron Patrick, formerly of All That Remains, and Aaron Stenconner of Interloper. Getting these guys on board, he was able to keep the band as a supergroup. Um, Drugs lives again, and they're killing it. Uh, the new record is absolutely fantastic. Right from the first bars of Destiny, reminding us that the past doesn't go away, and those that we may have lost along the way, it may have been destined to be that way. To the closing acceptance that sometimes we need to move on and take on the lesser pain to save us from a worse pain. The listener is taken on a journey of hurt and regret. Um, Craig's voice is always so powerful, and on this record, he elicits the emotional pain and determination that you can expect from his vocals, and the instruments behind his voice supplement the aesthetic of the record amazingly well, um, creating a haunting and invigorating experience. The driving beats are energizing, and the calm moments are introspective, creating a balance of beauty, rage, and contemplation. Overall, this is an amazing record. Um, I think that the lyrics will speak to most people. Um, we all feel hopeless at some point, and Drugs has done an incredible job presenting this pain and heartache um, and the feeling of being lost, yet reminding us that we are not alone and to keep fighting. Um, I believe the theme for the record can be found in the song, uh, What's the Code for Heaven's Gate? Um, there we find that we may feel we can't win, but nothing that changes will ever break us, which is a lyric from that song. Um, if you're a drugs fan, you need to take the time to listen to this because you'll love it. I love it, and I've been listening to it nonstop um, since they released it um, this last Friday. So, as usual, if you like this review, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on the socials. I can be found on most of the platforms under the handle Half Eaten Salad. I also post the audio of this and other videos I make on many of the streaming services. And lastly, you can follow me on Spotify, where I am constantly creating and updating music playlists. And I've also started doing that here on YouTube. Um, I will put links to the description below, in the description below. Um, thank you for joining me, and we'll see you here next time on Critically Disdained.